Alan, thanks for distracting the driver so that I could ride with you without paying the fare. You're welcome, mate. It won't be long before we get to my place. I can't wait for you to meet the missus and my daughter. Well, here we're at your place. I suppose this is as far as we walk home together. Is that your cat? How very cute. No. It belongs next door. Personally, I can't stand the damn things. Hiss, hiss, hiss. I am so out to here. Yes, it talks. But like anything you get used to, a talking cat is, like, so yesterday. Well, what about that talking dog speaking with your father and heading this way? Vina, this is too weird. Let's join my cat a scared deadle. Well, hello, there. You must be Alan's little girl. Hi, Pumpkin, it's mum home. Delight of my life. I want you to meet someone. Back from the CIT and bringing in a filthy strain dog. Madame, I am neither strain nor filthy. I am Alan's tutor. Alan, is there somewhere we can talk without interruption? You yeah, there, in the garage. Sorry about the missus. She was a bit surprised by you. Never mind, Alan. Now that we are alone, let's talk about the industrial relations framework. An industrial relations system provides a process for determining employer and employee responsibilities and rights. Yeah, and these include remuneration and conditions for employees, their obligations to employers, and to be treated fairly. Spot on, Alan. Terms and conditions stem from three complex and interrelated sources, namely the common law contract of employment, statute law and rulings on industrial conflict. Employees are obliged to be faithful to an employer's interests, obey lawful and reasonable commands, display care and be competent in the performance of tasks. And employers are obliged to indemnify employees for expenses legitimately incurred in the course of their employment, ensure their safety and be vicariously liable for them. Of course, employment contracts can be terminated by giving notice, by frustration and by breach. Well, Alan, so ends the very basic lesson as a prelude to Ron Ostrowski's class lecture. You set me straight, yet again. You know, Alan, this garage looks very comfy. I might keep here for the night. So be a good fellow and get me some grub, and some old newspapers in case I need to do a whoopsie.